No arrests yet in the shooting of a 21-year-old woman following a party at a local sportsplex. Officers tell us there were 500 people inside at the time. That's over capacity by 200 individuals. A lot of questions that need answering tonight, including how was this event allowed to get so out of control? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley takes a closer look. Well, we're always concerned from a community image. We want to make sure that people realize that this is not something that normally happens in Orchard Park. Don Lorenz is executive director for the Orchard Park Chamber of Commerce, and having a shooting at a local business is very concerning. If you're playing a room, and the room is, let's say, a, a 300 capacity room, and they have five, 600 people there, that's just looking for trouble. Lorenz is also a member of a local band called the Boys of Summer, and as a musician, he wonders if the weekend shooting was the result of an out-of-town promoter not anticipating security requirements of the crowd. Uh, it was estimated that there was 500 plus people in there. The shooting took place during a DJ music event called Two Broads Takeover. It was held at Frank Young's Sports Arena on North Buffalo Street. No, our surveillance will prove we weren't over code. Owner Frank Young maintains the event was not out of control. He had people that were checking identification and patting people down, but somebody got by them. However, a gun was brought into the event and a 21-year-old woman shot in the leg. Young said he cannot release the name of the promoter while the investigation is underway. But this is not the first time a promoter party has resulted in violence. Last June, a large promoter party held at the Lodge Bar and Grill on Chippewa and Buffalo ended with shots fired. And Don Lorenz wonders if it's time to start monitoring how some out-of-town promoters are picking local venues. They're not necessarily looking at numbers as far as capacity. They're just looking at how many tickets can we sell. Police say they plan to talk to several people as part of the investigation, but they also hope to hear from witnesses who were there for the weekend shooting. In Orchard Park, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News.